First of all, you can connect it to the car, you can see a car plug. And secondly, I'll show you the top. It's the same unit. The difference is this. The power supply in this method is thousands of times. It's so powerful that at the moment in this place, we cannot control it. It's been made by knowledge seekers. The difference is now we are using before you were coating the nanomaterial, making a gas out of it, and making a bead out of it. But one piece we should not realize is that if you put the nanomaterial, which is magnetic field, and make a cause out of it, in a coil, you create a closed loop nuclear energy without nuclear. And so what happens, this has to be expanded. You see two levels here. One, this, this, this is producing so much energy, which is scaring. The minute we connect it to the main, it blows the fuse up. Because it is huge amount of energy. A lot of you, can we have a close camera here, please? Anybody can come right close to this one. Let me explain to you this. You, yeah, that's perfect. If you come more close camera. This is the beads. This is the, another version of this one, in a simple way. Actually, this was made 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning by uh, Marco. If you look at the beads, now, it's the same process as beads. But every bead has been re-emphasized, regenerized. Here, what you see is one bead regeneration, and the rest just in series or parallel. Here, every single bead has been regenerized. But it's a nano-coated material, which what we've done, in a straight wire, where did I sing? We had it here. Oh, most probably it'll be here. Oh, it's gone before I know it. Pardon? There is a. Oh no, I know where it is. I hid it myself. It's down here. All we done. We have twisted the wire into a coil. All it is, turn this into a coil. So, Armand has done this. You can do it different ways. A small coil or a large coil is the same process. You create gravitational magnetic field and you energize back to back. We estimate the power of this is in thousands of kilowatts. This cannot be connected to a normal circuitry. Unless you go back to single beads, and the same is with this. Mark Armand has been trying to, what do you call it, harvest the energy of this one. The minute we connect, fuses blow, because it's such a huge power, it's fed back into the grid.